Hi everybody, are you ready to learn how to cleanse your liver with turmeric? I'm going to go over three different ways that you can do it and the 10 easy steps that you need to take. It's very important to know what our liver does for our body. The liver's most important job is of course to filter out our blood. So it removes all of the toxins and poisons that go through our blood and cleans it out for us. It also produces the bile and several different kind of special enzymes. It also produces the cholesterol for your body and different essential proteins. Interesting to know also it stores vitamins in there. So you get lots of the fat soluble vitamins like A, D, E, and K and of course B12. Over 500 different functions have been identified that go through just our liver. When your liver is not working properly, your body gives you lots of signs. Your eyes might get a little bit yellowish in the white part. Your skin may get all kinds of discolorations. Your hair might change color, get gray earlier. Your body gives you lots of signs to say, hey, you need to be checking on your liver. One of the most common things that happen to your liver is it gets a condition called the fatty liver disease. And this just means that your liver has become at least 5% fat or more. And this can lead to cirrhosis or liver cancer. So it's very important to cleanse your liver. Even if you think you're healthy and you have never cleansed your liver before, you should probably try it. So why turmeric? What does turmeric do for our liver? Turmeric does a lot, actually. One of the main things it can do is it helps to eliminate the leptin effect, which is the main cause of cirrhosis. It also helps with the bile production, which will help your liver to detoxify, and it helps to prevent the fat buildup in the body. And you can see a lot of studies done on this where turmeric has been used for people who have a fatty liver, and it has been very effective. Turmeric helps to protect the liver from any kind of damage from free radicals, toxins, alcohol, waste products, so it's definitely a good choice if you're thinking about trying a liver detox. Okay, there are three different liver cleanses that we are going to cover that you can choose from. Before you pick one, you need to start one week ahead of time doing the nine steps out of ten. All of these steps are essential to make this cleanse more effective. Number one, no sugar. This includes any kind of sugar, table sugar, sugar and soft drinks, high fructose corn syrup, any kind of syrup, any kind of sugar, brown sugar, white sugar, any sugar you're cooking with, maybe you're having a drink, any sugar you put in your drink, no sugar. This one I'm sure is going to be extremely hard, all on its own, but remember why you're doing it. You want to not use sugar because it's counterproductive to what you're trying to accomplish here. When you take in sugar, it produces more toxins, it closes up your liver so it doesn't produce the right enzymes that it needs, and it cannot function properly. So you don't want to be taking any kind of sugar. Number two, processed foods. No processed foods. This also includes fried foods. So when you're doing your grocery shopping, you want to stick to the produce section and maybe the meat and dairy section and try to avoid the rest of the store as much as possible. Number three, no vegetable oils. This includes soybean oil, veggie oils of all kind, corn oil. The only oils that you should be using is olive oil or coconut oil. Both olive oil and coconut oil actually help your liver. Coconut oil protects your liver from free radical damage and helps to enable liver regeneration and supports your immune system. And of course, it's anti-inflammatory. So it helps to reduce any inflammation and swelling that's caused by your fatty liver. So if you need to use any oils, use those. Number four, no alcohol. No alcohol, this means all kinds of alcohol. Do not drink any alcohol at all. Number five, dark leafy greens. You want to make sure you include as many dark leafy green vegetables as you can. This includes spinach, kale, arugula, mustard greens, chicory, dandelion greens, any kind of dark leafy greens. Make sure you're eating at least two servings a day minimum. They contain cleansing compounds and help detoxify your liver. Number six, garlic. You should use the garlic regularly in your cooking. The sulfur compounds activate the liver enzymes 
and that helps to flush out the toxins in your body. So it's really great to include garlic. Number seven, green tea. You should drink the green tea daily, at least two or three glasses. It's loaded with antioxidants and it helps to eliminate the fat accumulation in your liver. Number eight, exercise. You should just do a minimum 30 minutes walk. You do not have to do huge aerobics or anything. Just do some basic exercise. A daily walk is excellent. This helps to get your blood flowing well and this will help to eliminate the toxins in your body even faster. Number nine, tobacco. No tobacco products at all. No smoking, no chewing tobacco, no any kind of tobacco. Okay, number 10, pick your cleanse. So let's go over the cleanses. Now with all of these cleanses, you need to do step one through nine to make it work really well. Now we're gonna talk about turmeric here for one minute. Now, if you're taking a teaspoon of fresh turmeric, maybe you grated it into your spoon, you got a teaspoon full of freshly grated turmeric. This is equal to 200 milligrams of curcumin. And curcumin is actually the main active ingredient that makes all these wonderful things happen when we're taking turmeric. It is also said that one teaspoon of turmeric powder is also equal to 200 milligrams of curcumin. But I have to disagree with this because there's lots of evidence showing that when you process something, this product goes through all of this processing and aging, it loses its level of nutrient density. So it does not have 200 milligrams of curcumin by the time you get it. So it is better to use a fresh turmeric if you can get it, or you can use curcumin tablets or capsules. These are very good because they've already been condensed down and the amount of curcumin has already been measured out. And for the amount that you need to take every day, you may just want to try one of the supplements. If I were you, I'll try and find a really good supplement that also includes black pepper in it because black pepper will increase the absorption of the turmeric in your body by thousands of times more. So it'll actually be working. Without it, just turmeric by itself, it's not very effective. Your body cannot absorb it very well. So you want to make sure you're taking your turmeric with black pepper or your curcumin. Okay, option number one, cleanse one, is an ongoing maintenance liver cleanse. This means that you're pretty healthy and you want to stay that way. You just want to drink your turmeric at least one or two glasses a day. I made a few videos with turmeric. I had a turmeric tea video. I also have a cold cure tea video. Both of these include turmeric and black pepper. The turmeric tea also includes coconut oil. So make sure you have a maximum absorption. You just need to drink this one or two glasses a day. And this will help to keep your liver clean and keep the detoxification process going. Option number two is a super detox cleanse. And this one will take two weeks. You need to remember to do all steps one through nine that we just talked about. And it's best that you take the curcumin capsules because you need to be taking 400 to 600 milligrams two times a day with your black pepper. So if you try to do this with a fresh turmeric and you're just grating it and crushing it up in a spoon, you'd be having to take two to three teaspoons twice a day. So if you can handle that amount of turmeric, just go for it. If you would like to get the capsules, I would recommend that method. And again, you're looking for 400 to 600 milligrams. So this is a good dosage to make sure that your liver is getting detoxified really well. And you're going to be doing this cleanse for two weeks. And the third cleanse, the super detox for disease liver. So this is for if you already know you have a very fatty liver or maybe you drank a lot you have a, or you had a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> you know that your liver probably needs some help. This liver cleanse lasts for two months. So you're going to again take the curcumin capsules at 400 to 600 milligrams twice a day with the black pepper and you need to do it for two months and include steps one through nine. No sugar, no processed food, no vegetable oils, no alcohol, eat green vegetables, garlic, green tea, no tobacco. Do this for two months and you'll be amazed at how much your body has changed. This liver detox I think it would be good for almost everyone 
And of course, make sure you check with your doctor before trying this. And please leave a comment down below how you feel after you've done your liver detox. I'd love to hear it. Please like and subscribe. I so appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.